So right now, I'd like to get up there and get that rush that I cut the other day in place and finish that section of the roof. Problem is, I'm not allowed to work up there when I'm home alone. <sighs> so I'm going to get my pans and classifiers out and go and see if I can find some gold. Ooh, there's the sharpening stones I've been looking for. So I've come to this really remote spot. So I've come to this really remote spot, out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm going to see if we can find me some gold. I'm currently standing on top of a gravel bar. Although it's very hard to see because it's covered in grass. That's actually just there, that's the dirt of the bank. But all of this here is this gravel bar. And it's full of these quite chunky rocks that have come from the hard mark, ugh, the hard rock mines upstream. A bunch of uh, sulfide material on it. Anyway, that's not why we're here. What I'm here for is I wanna try and dig down into this gravel bar and see if I can get to the, what I think is gonna be a false bedrock, a clay base underneath this, and get underneath all these big Ugh, rocks that have come down, been swept down from the mullock heaps. And if we can do that, there's a reasonable chance we'll find some gold underneath them. I don't have a huge amount of time because the sun is going down. It's the uh, start of winter here. Well, when I say start, we're actually well and truly into it. Oh, that's a nice flat bit of slate. Uh. Make a good sharpening stone. Pretty loose gravels there. Let's give it. Let's see what we get off the top. Found some really good gold downstream of here, about 15 meters, and upstream, uh, absolutely nothing. And the reason for that is going to be the subject of a fluid dynamics video. But here, I just want to see if we can get down to some sort of layer and see what we can find in a pan on the way down. Oh, that'll probably do us. Oh, bugger. Maybe a... Um, Have worn the waders. Right, well that's not a not a great start. Now I don't know whether there'll be anything in this at all. Like I'm not really sure what to expect because I know I'm nowhere near the bottom of that layer or that deposit, but I don't know if there's gonna be any material on the way down. The area that I worked downstream, the deposit's a lot shallower. So you dig through at most six inches and you're at the bottom and you do get a little bit of uh, light gold on the way down let's see let's see what we got because the way the light's going I reckon I've got time for a couple more pans if I'm quick look at that now it's not a very high spec count but the fact that I've got lead already is a good sign. There's a couple of little nano dots in there as well, but that's a nice, decent piece. Let's go further down. Very sandy. All right, well, we're definitely through to some other layer here. The digging suddenly got very easy. There is clay underneath us, but also a soft, sedimentary sandstone well it's just, if it's all sandstone are sedimentary but a very soft sandstone clay contents picking up a bit there that was much faster to dig hmm well that is interesting because that spoke of gold that's from the that's I didn't I didn't take it out I just left it in there and the same with those two bits of lead and so I say we've got nothing new so we dug down into that sand a good, I don't know, six, eight inches and got nothing fresh. So that makes, well, hang on, what's that? No, that's not gold. So that makes sense. 
so it means I either have to stop at the sand and just clear off the gravel, which makes sense, that would be a pay layer. Uh, but it probably means that I've really got to go deeper until I get below that sand layer. And hopefully there'll be some, there'll be more gold sitting on the bottom of it. Ugh, yuck. Well, back at the house, I really only had to have time for a few pans. I got a third pan in with no extra result. Although, it's very hard to dig down there because I had such a very narrow hole. But I did dig, dig down, but I didn't get to the bottom of that clay sand layer. Uh, which is not... It's not surprising from what I know of this site, but we'll get, we'll get into that in future videos. Now I thought I was just going to do this, I'll do a quick out there, I'll grab a few pans, I'll show a few colours, I'll throw up a video on YouTube and yeah, that'll be done. But I can't help myself. Oh, where is that? Uh. Oh. Well, I can't find my lab coat. Bugger. I was going to shave and everything. So this is a really rough drawing of of the area. You've got a confined channel here. In flood, the water comes shooting out of that confined channel. There's a boil hole immediately after the channel gets wider. And then there's this really wide bank of very large rocks and and gravels that have been thrown up downstream of the boil hole. And it's nine meters wide, um, so it's quite quite a big bank. Now about 30, 40 meters downstream, I've got really good gold, some really nice pickers and a, and a lot of fine gold. And the spot where we did that little sample and got those two shot pellets and the decent speck, was just there. So the question I've got to you is to investigate this area f better, where do you think I should be digging? And particularly where in this bank do you reckon should be the next, the next series of sample holes to get an idea of where the gold might be lying? So let me know what your suggestions are. I've got my own ideas, but I'd like to hear what you guys have got to say. And then we'll pretty much, if your ideas are different from mine, we can, well, we can do both in the next video. Stuart? Yeah? Did you find your lab coat? No. Can you come here for a minute? No. <laughs> I didn't put that there. How do you get stuff to just magically appear like that? It's just not fair. It was... I don't go... Do, blah, blah, 